the majority of the American lobby is of uh, Israel. Israeli the Zionist. Biggest lobby. It's, yeah, the biggest, biggest lobby, lobby is is Zionism. And now, now I'm not anti-Jew. I'm not anti-Semitic, but I am anti-political Zionism. That is not biblical. That is not glorify the Lord. That is not honor the Lord. There's nothing related to it. Oh, and by the way, the star of David is the star of Ishtar, Semiramis, Inanna, Isis, flying in your faces. So you have us as the centrality of that uh, mystery Babylon, mystery school, haunt hideout for every found unclean spirit, makes the whole world junk with their immorality, traffics in the souls of people, and it says found the dead of all the, uh, the slain of all the earth through our pharmacia, right? Like all the hammer and all the earth, as it says in Jeremiah 15, 51, what we do, a global police force and do all these things. And yet the highest level of all occultism of the world is the United States of America. People don't like to hear that because it's they they have rose colored lenses on, and then a you lot have of it happens in your churches too. Exactly, and then you have the Zionist Israeli lobby, which is doing the same thing. And if you notice, the root of the Israeli lobby or Zionist lobby in America is not biblical Judaism. It is Talmudic and Kabbalistic in origin. Anytime you see somebody with the red string around their wrist, uh, pay attention to the Kushners, pay attention to Ivanka, pay attention to uh, guys like uh, old Tucker Carlson, all these high level guys, you will always see that red string, which generally not always, right? Some people use it for other things, but uh, generally it is, it is associated with a public proclamation of Kabbalism. Kabbalism is pre-flood Canaanitic mystery school that God kept judging Israel for dabbling in. It never went away. It's never gone away. It went underground, but not really when the fact that the flag over Israel is the highest level symbol of a cultic devotion on the face of the earth is that Israeli flag. Is Trump a Christian? Absolutely not. Is Trump a believer? Absolutely not. Is Trump a Kabbalist? Absolutely. He talks about it in his memoirs. There's no such thing as a star of David. Do your research in the mystery schools. It is the star of Ishtar or Semiramis, the feminine aspect of Osiris, Nimrod, Apollo, Apollyon, you know, Zeus, whatever, you name it, is the feminine aspect of it. And even the fact that they portray the feminine aspect is the finger in the eye of God, who's a patriarch. So they want to even go that far as to usurp God by elevating matriarchal worship instead of patriarchal worship of God as a father over all these things. This is the root of feminism. This is the root of free love movement. This is the root of high level LGBTQ and transgenderism is to elevate the feminine aspect through occultic practices as a finger in the eye of God, the true and better patriarch.